Oh, hey, YouTube, did not see you there. Uh, most of you already know about NextFest on Steam, which is a extravaganza of free demos of games that are coming up this year and stuff like that. Um, this week, I wanted to highlight a few of the games that I thought were really cool that you should probably add to your wish list. Um, or don't. I don't care. It's up to you. But these games were sick. They really stood out to me. Um, some of them not so much, but this first one here really stood out. It's called Pacific Drive. <laughs> um, basically, it's Think Stalker and My Summer Car and The Long Drive. But it's like more, there's more storyline. But it, it's good. The demo, I didn't want to play too much of the demo because I didn't want to get into the game. Like, I didn't want to ruin anything for myself, but it's basically like you drive a car around an exclusion zone where it's like you're not supposed to be there. Um, it's kind of like Stalker, except it takes place in Washington. I don't know, fucking somewhere on the, the West Coast. Oh, out there, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, but basically, you're in a car. There's weird sci fi shit happening. You got to craft stuff to survive. Um, you got to make stuff for your car. Like, if you got a flat tire, you have to pull over and, like, get out and fix it stuff like that it, it looks really really good um i'm probably going to be showing gameplay footage in the background while i'm talking about this so you can you know make your own assumptions about it um next real. next game that really <laughs> put i probably put the most amount of hours into this game for just a demo it's called nimrod's guncraft survivor um it's a great roguelike that's it. It's very solid roguelike, very fun. Basically, you're just this little guy and you get guns and then all of the upgrades you get go towards your gun. Like you get like magazine upgrades, types of bullets, different types of ammo, stock upgrades, underbarrel stuff. And like, it's, obviously it's a roguelike, so they all synergize together very well. And it's very cool. It's a very, very good game. I can't, I cannot wait for this to come out. I think. Release date? Yeah, there's no release date yet, but it's called Nimrods. Go wishlist it. It's very good for just a little tiny roguelike. I love it. This one, Lightyear Frontier, is very interesting because you're in a big mech robot and you're sent to this planet to try and like start bringing life to it. Um, and like you get different arms for the robot, you can customize it. It's just really cool, and it, it was very interesting, very new take on the crafting genre, which I thought was fun. I don't know, I liked it. I had a lot of, I had a blast, just moving around in my mech. It reminded me of Steambot Chronicles, which nobody knows what that game is but me. But whatever. Anyways, um, it's very beautiful. Uh, lots of bright colors, you know, so the kids are going to love it. This last one. <laughs> this is not really... This is one you can ignore. I just thought it was funny. Uh, it's a trucking simulator, but it's in space. It's called Space Truckers. And um, it's exactly what you think it is. So you're, you're hauling stuff in space. And you're just, you know... There's not much else to say. It's funny. It's good. You have to repair your truck sometimes. You get to fly around in your little astronaut suit, you know? Great. Very cool. And there were a few other games that I did not... Uh, did not... There were a few other games that I did not play because I don't want to ruin them for myself. Because I've been doing this thing where I play too much of a demo and then... I don't want to play the game anymore. Like I played too much early access and then the game finally launches. And I'm like, well, I put 60 hours into it in early access and I don't really want to play it anymore. So I kind of stopped myself And these four games, uh, on this list, hollow body, which is a horror, like cyber noir game or something. Maybe not cyber noir. I don't know. Hold on. Let me, let me correct. Let me correct myself. Hold on. Uh, tech noir. Yeah. Tech noir survival horror etc it looks grainy it looks sick i can't wait to play it um but i'm gonna play it on launch i'm not gonna play the demo same thing with king's grave which king's grave looks sick it's like a metroidvania adventure inspired by classic zelda games um it looks sick and like this is definitely a game where i don't want to play the intro i want to buy it when it comes out oh another <laughs> very cool game but needs a little bit of work i think for it needs it needs a lot more polish but i'm very excited for it echo point nova that game was sick. I did play that demo. Um, basically, it's like you're on a hoverboard and you have guns and, and that's it. You just, you know, whatever. 
not much else to say about it, but it's sick. The environment is cool. The hoverboard is cool. There's a grappling hook. So, you know, those are my highlights from Next Fest. Um, you should try out games yourself and don't listen to reviewers because you never know what you might like. Thanks for watching.